the original concerns were in regards to a protein called syncytin-1. Um, that protein is vital in the formation of the placenta. And it was noted that the coronavirus spike protein, so the one that the vaccine uses to create defenses, was in the same structural family as syncytin-1. And so there was concern that if the body created these defenses against this spike protein, that it would create it against, it would cross-react with this syncytin-1 and therefore cause infertility. But that's kind of like saying Christian Louboutin and Michael Kors are the same, right? So even though they're in the same family of proteins, they're very, very different. They only share a very, very small string of amino acids that would be insufficient to produce cross-reactivity. And if we're talking about viral fusion proteins, the flu vaccine is also in that same family and the flu vaccine clearly does not cause infertility. mRNA vaccines as a technology, yes, they're relatively new, but they've actually been studied for several years um, and they've been found to be safe. And so the phase one, phase two, phase three clinical trials all showed reassuring safety data. Thank you.